Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mesa Sean bringing you another video, and today my MacBook Pro won't start up. It's doing what we call the, uh, I guess, the gray screen of death, as you would call it, where you boot it up, it goes to the white screen, starts loading up, and then it just shuts down. The reason why I'm making this is because my Apple Care has run out on this. This is a MacBook Pro 2011, and uh, my Apple Care ran out. But this happened to me two other times, so I pretty much remember how to fix it. So if your Apple Care uh, has run out, this is going to be the solution for it. So here it's going to be loading up, and then it's going to get stuck. Now, the first thing I have to say is you got to back up your MacBook Pro like crazy. Now, I'm a nut when it comes to backing up because my whole life was lost on a computer maybe five years ago, so I'm never without this thing. It's a uh, My Passport for Mac, one terabyte, and if I even change a single thing on this thing, I just pop it in and do a quick backup because as we know, Macs have time machines, so basically we'll just back up anything that's changed on a computer. So as you can see, it turned off, and I'm such a fanatic. I also use this right here. It's an iOmega. This is a two terabyte one. I use that to back up my MacBook Pro and my iMac because I'm such a fanatic when it comes to that. So what I do is I will back up... Um, once a day on the uh, the iOmega and then I'll back up pretty much every time I put something new like a new video or I've rendered something in iMovie because I just I'm so paranoid about losing things so alright so let's get on to it so now there's gonna be either two ways to do this okay one is going to be either recovering it from your full backup and I did a full backup before this thing crashed thank God and also reinstalling a lion okay so you definitely want to have um, a landline internet connected to your MacBook Pro so let's get into it we're gonna try the two methods we'll see which one works and we'll go from there so the starting process we're just gonna hold down alt and just turn her on I'll speed this up Okay, so we come to the screen, it says Recovery HD or Macintosh HD. So we're going to click on Recovery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my passport. Get it connected. So the last time they had me just reinstall Lion first, wipe everything off, and then just do a fresh backup from my uh, external hard drive. Here's where I speed this up. So now we're at this screen, we can either choose restore from Time Machine Backup, reinstall Mac OS X. Well, last time we did it from just reinstalling Mac OS and then doing the backup. But let's see if this works where I could just restore it from the backup. Continue. My passport. And let's see the last one was July 23rd, 1223. Yep, that was the last one. Continue. Select destination. It's going to erase everything. Yes. And that's as simple as that. Um, we're going to speed this up and see if it actually works. The reason why I wanted to do it this way is because the last time they, the, the, the folks at Apple Care had me not restore it from a backup. They had me wipe it clean and reinstall Lion. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it this way first. And if everything's fine, then we're good to go. However, if it keeps crashing, then we're going to go back and do the fresh reinstall of Lion and then back it up from there. So, let's speed her up. Flash forward, we're at 76 minutes, 31 seconds. Okay, so she just did a reboot and it's been, it took about three hours because these things are USB .3s, which are not very fast compared to, I forget what cord this thing uses. I think it's the Thunderbolt or Lightning or something like that. But Let's see if it works. I'm going to speed this up. So the only reason why I did this is because the last time they didn't have me do it like this. I think in certain cases they want you to, instead of doing a backup from disk, you want to reinstall Lion from, you know, an internet source, Ethernet, you know, preferably, then do the backup because something that if you just reinstall from the disk that a corrupt file might still be in there and still keep shutting the thing down. 
but when this closed down on me before, I was I was working in Firefox and it kept uh, I kept opening up a window and it would quit and it have to, you know give you the restart window for Firefox. So it looks like it's back up and everything's back to normal. So I'll keep you posted if anything changes. Thanks.